Hello everyone, this is Satya Prakash. Welcome to Coding Knowledge. In this session, we will discuss on what is Git and uh, what is version controlling system and uh, what is source code management. So let's begin. What is the details we have will learn in this session? And uh, let's see what is Git. So I have created one DevOps series that is the first part of this Git. So we will learn that what is version controlling system as VCS and source code management as SCM. So version controlling system is Git and source code management is GitHub. So Git is a DevOps tool that is used for source code management. It is a free and open source version controlling system used to handle small to very large projects efficiently. So we will learn that what is version controlling system and what is source code management. So version controlling system is stands for v VCS that is nothing but VCS and it stands for version controlling system and SCM is nothing but it stands for source code management. So version controlling system is Git, source code management is stands for that is GitHub. Source code management is nothing but the GitHub. So let me go through an example to understand what is VCS and what is SCM. Okay, now we can see this diagram. There is four developers, Dev A, Dev B, Dev C, and Dev D. So Dev A and Dev B are backend developers. Dev C is a UI developer, and Dev D is a database developer. So Dev A and Dev B started writing backend code using c sharp.net vb.net dev c started writing on html css javascript jquery and bootstrap angular and react dev d started writing code or script using sql server oracle mysql db so everyone will keep their own files in their local system okay local system or local machine so, but I want combined code of every developers in a single system instead of keep individual files because it is a web application project so everything should be integrated with each other in one place here I will ask each and every developer that is dev a dev b dev c and dev d to keep and manage their files in central place called github where all the files of each developer will place that's why we call it github as a central place so once dev a dev b dev, b, dev c and dev d finish their code then they can place their code in github okay so finally the code of every developer developers are saved in central place called github now now i can store all these files in github so let's understand what is scm with an example or scenario so scm is nothing but the source code management so in this example dev a dev b are backend developers and uh, there is one file called file1.cs and it, this is one github okay so in this example dev a created one file and kept in github and in the same file dev b wants to work so in their scenario dev b should not ask to dev a for permission because this file of dev a is already present in a central place called github so dev d will take the code from github nothing but the file1.cs and keep modification in this file as per the requirement and then push the same file to github so again dev a pull this file1.cs from github and whatever changes made by the dev b earlier and dev a make some changes as per requirements and push the same file that is file1.cs to github so in this way multiple developers can work on the single project or single file using the github 
okay so in this i'll so i'll just uh, describe this example in a real time scenario so in this example you can see there is a file called file1.cs is created by dev a this is dev a is created this file1.cs and here he added one functionality that one button control functionality using c sharp code and kept in github the same file file1.cs is pulled by db and he has made some background color of this button what dev a has added in the c sharp code of this file1.cs and after change, adding the background color of this button dev b push this changes to github again dev a pull this file with this modification as made by the dev b from the github and added one functionality that uh, on this button click event added empty field validation that is the empty field validation control under this button click event that uh, validation is nothing but uh, if the user will be uh, submit the button without any giving valid data the so the validation will be shown to the end user that the validation will be there is nothing more empty fields are there so this functionality is added by dev a in this file one dot cs and um, that on button under button click event add an empty field validation using c sharp code and push the same file to github okay so in this way um so same file is pushed by the dev a, dev a to the github it is nothing but the central place so in this way we can manage a central place called github or so it is nothing but called as source code management so this this manage uh, so in this way we can manage the central place called source code management so here the operation for managing the source code is performed so github is the, is the popular source code management tool in the market so in this session uh, we have learnt uh, that is the uh, understanding between scm and vcs and what is source code management with an real time example so this is my youtube channel coding knowledge and in this session in this channel we have uh, we learn about .NET mbc core sql server postman and uh, git about the source code management and uh, so in the in this session what we have learned is what is git and what is the difference between vcs and scm vcs is stands for version controlling system and scm stands for source code management so understand scm with an example or scenario what we have learned today's session so that's it for guys thank you for listening and have a great day